I made a second little plate thing for my ants and I'm going to put some dog food in it. Um, because you're waiting for your dinner, aren't you? Yeah, I'll give you biscuits and I'll also give you a bit of the uh, wet meat, yeah? And you, Hopi? Is that what you want? Let's get you some dinner. You guys are confused. Okay, I'll just get to it. Okay, so this is the meat that I'm giving them. We got some free samples from uh, Pet Circle a while back. Hopi loves it. Don't you, Hopi? Marley also likes it, but it's a chihuahua food. Hope's half chihuahua, so, you know, it's really for him. So here's Marley's. Marley's got a little bit just to flavor it because, you know, we don't want him to get fat and you know how Labradors are. Excuse me. Um, Hope freaking loves the stuff and he's very picky though, so he gets that much. And that'll actually get him to eat some of the biscuits too. And here's what the ants are getting. It's kind of adorable. So, yeah. All right. You guys are hungry, yeah? You've been waiting long enough? Let's get to it. Stay. Go! Hey! Yum, 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 yum. Happy, happy dogs. Even Hopi is happy. Sometimes he doesn't eat straight away. He'll like wait for us to finish our dinner before he eats. But no, because there's the meat there. He loves it. Loves it. Look how fast Molly eats though. Almost all gone already. Oh yeah, Molly doesn't ever steal Hope's food. Um, unless it's outside the bowl. Occasionally I think he sneaks into the bowl, but um, Hope gives him a hard time, so he'll only eat the biscuits if it falls out of the bowl and not when it's inside. Because Hope does leave his biscuits during the day, but since we've got meat, you're actually eating everything. Hey. Hey, Marley, you had yours. Don't be jealous. All right, time to feed the ants and see if they like it. All right, so here we are. The ants are happily enjoying the sugar version. Let's put the meat version in. Sorry if the camera goes funny because I've got to look from over here. Let's try and slide it in there. Um, it'll probably take them a while to investigate it. Oh no, we're already investigating. Kind of think I should put it on the other side though, so I can see it better. But hey, I think maybe they can smell it. Wow, that's fast. See, so yeah, um. I haven't fed them any meat or kind of protein type stuff in a while, so I think they're actually really keen. Um, and I haven't wanted to feed them any uh, bugs because we just had pest control and, you know, they'll probably be poisoned if I find any dead bugs around. Um, I don't want the ants to eat poisoned bugs, obviously. So, dog food it is. They haven't had any in a while, so um, let's see how excited they get. I think... Yeah, there's one that seems to be digging in already. Oops, it's not focusing properly. My light's sort of in a dodgy position. Mm. Well, yeah, I think they're starting to get into it, so we'll check back later. But yeah, I expect them to be pretty keen. Wow, that doesn't take long. Check it out. They're going all around the sides and there's even some like crawling on the underside of it. I'm trying to find more space to get in and um, get some of that dog food. Those are some happy ants. This is like the biggest ant buffet I've experienced so far with these guys. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think they are too. Holy shit. 
So here you can see the dog food feast has slowed down. Um, you know, before it looked like um, they were all sitting at a dinner table. Um, but yeah, now that they've you know gorged on that, um, there's still ants hanging around, but it's much slower trickle. Um, sort of similar to like that one. It's funny how some of them just seem to sit there and you wonder if they're drunk or something. Um, but yeah, you can see also one of the problems with the dog food is like once it's been there for a few hours, it sort of hardens over, it gets this sort of crust on it. Um, I did consider putting some plastic over half of it so that they can gradually make their way through. But um, I think they still need to chew through crust either way. Um, even if I put a plastic on it for them to get through to the fresher stuff inside there. So, you know, then decided it wouldn't really make a difference. Um, so, you know, a little bit gross, but they can deal with it. Um, and so they now have their mix of the meaty stuff and the sugary stuff. Over there. Um, and they seem pretty happy. It would be better if I can find them an actual bug to eat, but for now this will do. Um, I'm not sure what else ants need to be happy, so especially because I don't know what species these are, if anyone can help me figure that out. Um, they're fairly small. I don't know if I have a queen. Um, I seem to keep having eggs pop up though, so there might be, or maybe they're just eggs that are kind of like dormant or dead and they haven't figured it out. I don't know. Um, the ants seem pretty good at knowing when, you know, a member of their group is ill though. Like, I saw them harassing a, another ant again and um, this time they kept chucking it overboard and I kept rescuing it and after a while I realised it was the same ant they kept chucking over. So I just um, held it on the chopstick and observed it and it turns out it had like five legs. One of the legs was a, kind of like a stump and so it wasn't able to walk properly and I think because it was injured they decided they were going to kick it out. Um, I don't know if it's like a disease prevention thing or if they just don't like cripples but um, yeah that was interesting. So I think if the eggs were dead they'd probably chuck them out. So right, can we see any? Sort of on the wrong side. Oops. Might not be so easy with this lighting. Mm, where's my torch? Can you see like there's some smaller white specks here and there? A bit hard to focus, isn't it? Yeah, there's some smaller specks. The bigger ones are like pupae and larvae. The small ones I think are eggs. And by now I, I kind of expected them all to be gone. So there might be a queen still laying eggs. I don't know. If there is, I either don't recognize her or she's hidden. What was I talking about that for? I don't know. This group seems to be doing well though, so yay! And I really need to get to bed. Check it out! Since I gave it to them, look how much they have eaten. There's like... What is that? Is that half? Less than half? Sorry about the lighting. Um, wow, they really love that dog food. Even though it's all crusty and gross. They're still going for it. I suppose they're ants. Ants are good at cleaning up that kind of thing. But yeah, I didn't expect them to eat quite so much, quite so quickly. Um, that's faster than they've been eating the sugar. This is the same sugar I gave them to start with. Looks like now that they've got their fill of dog food, they're happily back at the sugar. I think mm, there was maybe a little drop off of how popular the sugar was for a bit, but not by a, m a lot. There were always ants going for the sugar. Um, but yeah, wow.
Okay, so I brought the ants outside today, and usually they panic when they see daylight. And about half of them have, but there's this huge group right here who've decided they don't care that it's daylight, they're just gonna stay there. What? Are they getting overconfident because, you know, I make life too easy for them? So now they think they don't have to move? They're alive, aren't they? Sorry, just blew on them a bit. Yeah, they're alive. And they're panicking now. But yeah, and then there's in this smaller group down here who have refused to move. I don't know, they're just getting lazy. Mum thinks it's because um, it's a little bit cloudy today, but when I first brought them out, it was plenty sunny, so I don't know. I wonder if now that I've disturbed them, they'll move them. Here's what the meaty bit, they haven't eaten any more of that really, maybe just small bits, they're mostly into the sugar now. Um, yay. Oh. Hey, they finally moved everyone underground, so they were just a bit slow. I guess it could have been something to do with the cloud. Um, because it did get sunnier again, it's sort of gotten cloudy again. Um, but I don't know, it's just not how they've behaved in the past. They've usually immediately taken everyone downstairs instead of waiting like this. So, I don't know. Maybe they are getting lazy. Maybe they had too much to eat and just were feeling too fat to move or something, I don't know. Okay, so it's the afternoon and I'm come back to check on them and all the meat is gone. Um, and I'm pretty sure they didn't eat it. Um, probably like a bird or something. <clears throat> They've got these little birds that come around every now and then. Hope likes to chase them but sometimes he doesn't notice. So, um, yeah, maybe a bird stole their meat. Um, this isn't the first time I've um, seen their food suddenly disappear. And, you know, I think it has disappeared faster than they could eat it. You know, they're, they're pretty into that sugar, though. Um, the sugar never goes missing, but things like that little bit of meat, those kinds of things do go missing. There are, I'm assuming, birds. I don't think it's a problem though, because they at least left the um, the little plate, didn't knock it out of place really. Um, I mean, I can't even tell if that their little bowl thing has moved at all. Um, whereas like when you are eating by the beach, like some fish and chips or something, or at Circular Quay, one time I had a seagull come along and um, uh, it just swooped, grabbed my fish, and took my fork with it right out of my hands. So I had to go and get another fork. Um, so, you know, there are some birds that will do that. Whereas if it is those little birds, or even any other bird in this area, I guess they're not that annoying. Just opportunistic little shits, that's all. Lots of dead ants I've got to clean up later on. I'll get around to that. Can you see, like, I think, are those like, those other things, the little um, yellowy coloured things? At first I thought they were like wings, but I think those are actually um, uh, like the shells of um, the pupae or something. I, d I don't know, some ants have shells on their pupae, some apparently don't, but I'm thinking that's what they are. Can I zoom in? Yeah, so like hatching ants or something. Anyway. Yeah. So, I don't know. Um, should I give the ants some more fresh meat tonight? I don't know. I haven't decided. Look. Did you escape or are you from another group? Sometimes escapees do happen, but they tend to hang around 
because I guess they know it's their nest, so. I don't know, do you need help getting back in? No, apparently not. So yeah, sometimes it's other ants. There's a very small variety of ant that likes to hang around on this table, so. It doesn't look like that, but I know there are other groups around. Anyway, that's all for now. So since the um, dog food got stolen probably from here, um, I just found a little bit of tuna and popped it in there. And yeah, they seem into that. Um, not super excited like when I first put the dog food in, but that's maybe because they already had so much dog food. Um, but yeah, no, they like the tuna. The sugar's still a bit more popular today, though. Oh, a few of them left. Well, it was more popular before. Setting up in little patches around the place instead of one big blob.